Netflix's new documentary Sweet Bobby, My Catfish Nightmare chronicles the harrowing eight-year ordeal of Kirat Assi, a 30-something marketing executive from London, England who fell prey to the online deceit now known as catfishing. Catfishing involves an individual inventing, or borrowing, an online persona to dupe their victim, usually romantically. Assi's story is particularly shocking since it is revealed at the end of Sweet Bobby, My Catfish Nightmare that her tormentor was her cousin and confidant, Simran Bogle. Bogle's astonishingly intricate web of lies and deception lasted nearly a decade. By stealing the identity of one Bobby Jandu, originally on Facebook, Bogle inched her way into Ass's affections, who she knew to be desperate for marriage and children. Placing Bobby in Nairobi, Kenya, and then moving him to New York while concocting a series of bizarre events including a shooting, enrollment in a witness protection program, and a heart attack, Bogle was able to keep her protagonists apart. Meanwhile, she maintained a constant and pervasive online presence, which evolved into an intense love affair and even a marriage proposal. The outcome of Simran Bogle and Kirat Assi's catfishing case explained. Assi was not the only victim of Bogle's deception. Assi was not the only victim of Simran Bogle's catfishing. In Sweet Bobby, My Catfish Nightmare, her parents and immediate family were also taken in by the affair. Naturally keen to see their daughter married, they had no reason to believe that Facebook Bobby was anything other than real. The actual Bobby Jandu, who Assi tracks down and confronts at the end of the documentary, is a victim too, together with his wife and child. But for Assi, now in her forties, the near-decade-long lie has left her unmarried and childless. Once Kirat Assi finally uncovered Bogle's scheme, she took her case to the police in 2018, who informed her that Bobby was the real victim and refused to prosecute, since catfishing is not a criminal offence. Undeterred, Assi brought a civil action against Bogle in 2020, which was settled out of court. As per the Mirror, an apology letter from Bogle to the court attempted to explain her actions as a family dispute that occurred when she was a schoolgirl, over a decade ago. She claimed that she had lost money and that her health had suffered as a result of the case. Where Simran Bogle is today after the Kirat Assi case. Bogle has kept out of the public eye. Sweet underscore Bobby underscore underscore my underscore catfish underscore nightmare one. The cousins have not spoken since the day Bogle confessed in person to Assi. The case was first brought to public attention by podcaster Alexi Mostras, before it was picked up by Netflix, who has shared with Cosmopolitan that Bogle once worked as a high-powered executive at Barclays Bank, but had left of her own accord as a result of the case. She'd paid a significant sum of money to Assi, including Assi's court costs Bogle is reported to have moved back to her parents' house in North London, but otherwise has remained silent and out of the public eye until Netflix's sweet Bobby, My Catfish Nightmare was in the works, after which Radio Times reports that she was stung into making a short statement. I strongly object to the numerous unfounded and seriously defamatory accusations that have been made about me, as well as details of private matters that have been shared with the media.